something that nobody ever wants to talk about or think about is um, when that person dies or is really sick and you have the chance, because not everyone gets a chance to say goodbye, but if you have a chance to say goodbye, what would you say? Um, I didn't think about it. I just think that I thought she would never die. It was just something I just would not would not allow myself to think about. Um, she was sick for a very long time, and so even on my way to the hospital the day that she was dying, um, I could just block it out and pretend she was just sick and I was just going to see her in the hospital again. But when I walked in the room and um, a lot of people were there and praying with her, <laughs> that's when I knew that it was happening. And goodness, it took over uh, my whole soul. And um, I couldn't go to her. And I kind of regret that too, but um, it just was real. And I couldn't do it. I finally did compose myself a little and said some things. And um, it just never felt, still today, just um, doesn't feel like enough. Um, but I have learned, thank, thankfully, to so many people that have talked to me after the fact. Um, that someone told me that I didn't need to say the things because we lived our lives um, with such love and connection that she knew how I felt and there was really nothing left unsaid. Um, but if there are things that are unsaid, now would probably be a good time for you to start thinking about that and maybe having conversations with your person or just inside your own head about what you would want that person to know um, if you never got to see them again. The other thing, whew, I hate crying and this is going to be really public crying, but here we go. Um, the other thing that I... I wish I had more of is, um, I wish I had lots more pictures and videos because I would just love to see her. And pictures are good, but videos, <clears throat> videos show the person living life and you can I would give anything to just see her smile um, and just see her moving in a video. I know that's crazy. It sounds weird, but anyway, be the annoying family member and take their pictures and take the videos because you'll cherish them. Uh, but a thing about that is for like two years after she died, I could not look at a picture. I would um, just walk really quickly <laughs> past her pictures because um, I just couldn't look at them. I couldn't see her face. But after a couple of years, that sounds crazy to say out loud, um, now I, you know, love looking at her pictures and I, the girls, I show the pictures to her all the time and we talk about Mimi all the time, but that was something I was surprised by. I just could not even look at her pictures. So could not go into my parents' house. Whew. It was like walking in there was like I would need a machete to like cut through the pain like there was like a door of pain <laughs> to enter through the house and I just couldn't do it. Oh man, my breath would just be taken away and I couldn't, I could not be in that house because it was her and it was her house and she wasn't there and she never would be ever again. And that was a lot, but um, over time that got better too. But that's just another one of those things that I was surprised and didn't expect.